I've spent a lot of time traveling around the Philippines, from traveling with friends in the most popular islands, to straight up living with a Filipino family for months in the province. In that time, I've gone from knowing nothing to having a large amount of knowledge on how to travel the Philippines. I do also have a bit of an unfair advantage as my girlfriend is a Filipina and was born and raised her whole life in the Philippines. From her, I've been able to learn so many things I otherwise never would have had any exposure to. So now that you know why you can trust me, I'm gonna give you every tip I can possibly think of for your first time ever visiting the Philippines. If you're someone who's traveled the Philippines a lot or a Filipino born and raised, please stick around to the end and leave any tips you think I missed in the comments below so future tourists to this beautiful country can see them and be even more prepared for the adventure that awaits them. Let's jump straight in because we have over 40 tips to go through. Number one, buy an onward flight out of the country that's within 30 days of your arrival. If you don't do this, you won't even make it into the country. You do not have to actually use the flight. You can buy a cheap throwaway flight or look for other options online. Some people will tell you it doesn't need to be within 30 days because you may be wanting to extend your visa on arrival. I did this and bought a ticket three months out. I still made it to the Philippines with it, but the airline was extremely close to not letting me on the flight and ended with me nearly begging them. Just get it within 30 days. Two, if you're planning to extend your visa, there are different places to do this depending on what city you're in, so look into that. But know that you can extend it for one or two months at a time. If you plan to stay longer than 90 days, then be ready to go back and extend it at least every two months. Three, expect that you may get sick your first time here. Uh, I'm pretty sick. I feel like a limp spaghetti noodle. If you're coming from the other side of the planet, your body will not be used to the strands of illness here in the Philippines. Just expect you will get a cold at least once. So bring medication and be ready to rest a bit. You may be fine and not get sick at all, but I'm just warning you because this does happen, especially if it's your first time in Asia. Four, Filipinos speak amazingly good English, so you do not need to learn anything to communicate. But if you do take the time to learn at least a few words of the local dialect, it will go a very long way and will make you stand out from all the other tourists. I don't just mean learn some Tagalog. That's great if you're in Manila or any other predominantly Tagalog area, but I mean learn the local dialect. If you're in Visayas or Mindanao, then learn some Visaya or any other of the hundreds of dialects spoken across the Philippines. Just look up what is spoken where you're visiting. If you speak it to the locals, even just a little, they will be extremely excited and even more friendly to you than they already would have been. Five, when you arrive in the airport, use Grab to get to your hotel. It's basically the Uber of the Philippines. Don't even look at taxis, unless you love paying extra and having a harder time. I mean, if you do, then... I mean, do you. Six, when traveling far on land, take buses or vans as far as you can. Just ask the locals where the bus terminal is. I know a lot of foreigners like to try to take grab or private cars, but you're gonna spend over 10 times more for that. You can get extremely far with buses for extremely cheap. Unless you're balling out rich, then I mean, just fly, I guess. Seven, do not buy SIM cards for your phone at the airport. We made this mistake our first time and Yes, Chris, if you're watching, that actually was a mistake. Instead, buy one for either Globe or Smart from a Sorry Sorry store, which are these little stores you see along the side of the road. These are prepaid, which is actually the way to go in the Philippines. You will have to load money onto the number at Sorry Sorry stores and then text a code to a number to get your data. You can find these codes online, but I recommend you just have a local help you with this. They all do it and already know exactly what to do. Eight, you can drive in the Philippines on your license from your home country for three months only. After this, you have to go to the LTO office in the nearest city to get a Filipino license which isn't very hard to do, so don't worry if you have to do it. Nine, once you're out of the city and in the tourist areas, find somewhere to rent motorbikes. This will save you a ton of money compared to paying for someone else to take you everywhere or paying for tours. 10, 
Be safe on motorbikes. It sounds obvious, but you have to understand that not every road in the Philippines is as good as the highways. To get to some of these tourist spots, the path will become really rocky and dangerous if you're still learning the motorbike. In these areas, please take it slow or pay a local to help you drive through. I know that sucks, but until you're confident on the bike, you must be safe. We've seen foreigners who are too cocky crash. Shoot, I've even crashed. If you're going fast enough, it can be very bad, so just take your time. 11. Be ready for traffic to be totally different. If this is your first time out of a western country, you may fear for your life the first few times you're on the road in the Philippines. Just trust it and drive the way they do. It's actually much safer than trying to drive like you're used to while everyone else isn't driving that way. When we first experienced city traffic in the Philippines, it did freak us out. We took our first taxi in the Philippines through Cebu City. What the F was that? Chris? I don't know, man. It's worse than New York traffic. We almost say. killed five people. But it isn't like that everywhere, and over time, you will absolutely get used to it. 12. Since it's your first time, I actually recommend you travel the more popular areas. Normally on this channel, we're all about getting people to go to unknown areas. But if you've never been there before, you need to learn how things work. It's very different than what you're used to back home. So just follow a normal tourist path for your first time. Also, it's really great to see all the famous spots at least once. Just expect a lot of other tourists. 13. That being said, don't be afraid to go a bit off path. I'm not saying go to an island with no infrastructure for tourists, not yet at least, but if you see something cool on a map or hear others talking about a cool spot that most people miss, take a little time to go check it out. The best experiences in the Philippines are the ones you didn't expect to find. 14. When you eventually try Jollibee, order anything other than a cheeseburger. If you're from America, I know that will be your first instinct, but check out the spaghetti and the chicken. It's actually super good. 15. Eat mong in a song. No doubt a super popular place to eat in the Philippines, yet I don't hear tourists talking about it that much. That is a mistake. The food here is literally a tin. It's all meat though, so if you don't eat meat, maybe skip this one. 16. When you finally try the most famous Filipino dessert, Halo Halo, make sure you take your spoon and mix all the ingredients as much as you can. It will feel wrong, but that's how it's meant to be eaten. Halo Halo literally means mix or mixed. I see way, way too many foreigners eating the ingredients one at a time, and it actually hurts my soul. 17. Try street food as it can be really good, but I do recommend you have a local you trust guide you on what to get and from where. 18. If you have the chance, make friends with locals. Not only are they super fun, but it will also open doors for you to find more interesting things and have new experiences you otherwise wouldn't have even known about. 19. If you're from the West, you're probably gonna be surprised by how nice and helpful people in the Philippines can be. They're almost always smiling and laughing and will almost never be rude towards you. Because in the West, we're so used to everyone only caring about themselves, this may make you feel like you're being scammed by everyone, but you're not. I would say nine out of 10 times, the locals are really just being nice and helpful. That being said, use common sense, and if you truly feel uncomfortable with a situation, just walk away from it. 20. With that in mind, just know every now and then, you will get scammed. Just accept it. That being said, it won't be that bad. It will help if you research prices first. When taking a tricycle or a hobble hobble, don't ask the drivers, but ask locals how much it should cost from one place to another. So you know what the price should be and no one can talk you up. 21. The Philippines is currently safer than ever, but still when in a crowded urban area, make sure you have your eyes on your things. Maybe keep your bag in front of you or have locks on it. You'll probably be fine, but better safe than sorry. 22. The Philippines is the type of country where you can plan out everything beforehand, follow a strict itinerary, or just show up and start moving. Both forms of travel work great here. 23. Don't worry about booking absolutely everything ahead of time, especially ferry tickets. I see a lot of people online all the time asking about booking ferry tickets months ahead of time. As long as you're going to a popular island, there will be many ferries going back and forth every day. 
so just show up. There will be tickets. If you are going somewhere with less daily trips back and forth or it's Holy Week, then maybe try to show up and book a day or so in advance. 24. Speaking of Holy Week, this is the week leading up to Easter, and it's a big deal in the Philippines. If you're planning to travel during this time, then book everything early. This is the only week I do recommend you make your plans and book it all early, or else you may have a really hard time. 25. Plan for everything to be slower than you're used to, from service to transportation. The Philippines is on island time. No rush, just relax. Know that even though the Philippines looks small on maps, travel times are almost always longer than you expect. Plan for this. Don't plan to move from one island to another and see five tourist spots in the same day. It just isn't gonna work. You may very likely spend the whole day traveling from one spot to the next. 26. Use sites like Agoda and Airbnb to find good, cheap accommodation. I use both of these all the time in the Philippines. If you can't find anything for where you want to go because it isn't well traveled, just show up at the biggest town nearby. There will likely be somewhere for you to stay. And if not, locals will know where to go to find a hotel. You do not need to worry about sleeping on the streets. 27. I do not recommend exchanging a lot of money on arrival. Just use ATMs to take out cash. Be sure to always take out at least 10,000 pesos at a time to keep ATM fees from adding up too much. 28. The best ATMs for foreign cards seem to be BPI, BDO, and Metro Bank. 29. Always get as much money out as you think you will need before going to any remote areas. There are absolutely places in the Philippines where you will not be able to find ATMs that will work for your car. Prepare before leaving cities and populated areas so you don't get stuck in the middle of nowhere with no money. Don't think it can't happen to you. I've seen it happen to others. 30. Be careful with big bills because, especially in the morning, a lot of people will not have change. Always try to carry a lot of small bills to avoid this problem. As soon as you get your money from the ATM, try to break one of the big bills at a big store that you know will have change. 31. You cannot drink the tap water in the Philippines. It just isn't safe. You will get sick. Buy a reusable water bottle. Most hotels and hostels have filtered water that you can refill your bottle with. These are totally safe. Some tourists worry about any water, even in restaurants. But remember, if you're in a tourist area, they're not going to serve you bad water. The restaurants don't want to get shut down. Don't worry too much about it. 32. You can use GPS, but don't trust it 100%. Things like Google Maps are often a bit off in the Philippines when it comes to tourist spots. They are totally fine to get from town to town though. I recommend using GPS to get close to the spot you're looking for, maybe even to the barangay it's located in, then ask locals for directions. Always trust locals more than GPS in the Philippines. 33. Sometimes you'll have to take a tour guide to see things. This isn't always to get you there and back. A lot of times it's for your safety. They will expect a tip on top of the entrance fee. A lot of foreigners misunderstand this. I did at first as well. You need to understand that the way it works in most places is your entrance fee all goes to the barangay or the municipality. Your tip is the only income your tour guide will receive. Also, let's be real, it isn't going to cost you that much. Just expect it so it isn't a surprise going in. 34. Always wear sunscreen. The sun is stronger than you're used to. We use Derm Plus, which can be bought in the store called Watson's. Also bring aloe vera just to be safe. Don't think you can skip this. I once ended up with sun poisoning, even with sunscreen on. I promise the sun here is stronger than you think. 35. Also wear some type of bug spray. Most people recommend off with DEET in it. This is for your safety. There have been a lot of dengue outbreaks recently. You'll more than likely be totally fine, so don't worry too much about it. But wear the bug spray just to be safe. You don't want your trip ruined by something like dengue or malaria. 36. It's gonna randomly rain there, even in the dry season. It'll most likely always pass pretty quickly. Personally, I recommend not letting the rain ruin your trip. The Philippines is just as fun in the rain, and you will totally find people out still enjoying their days no matter the weather. Yes, even on the beach. 37. 
Don't be afraid of the rainy season. It isn't that bad and it doesn't hit all of the Philippines all at the same time. 38. For me at least, there were no vaccinations required to go, but there are some that are recommended. It might be a good idea to talk to your doctor before you leave and see if you want them. 39. Because the sun comes up between 4 and 6 a.m., if you don't plan to get up that early, be sure to bring earplugs because you will hear people and more importantly, roosters every morning everywhere you go like literally everywhere and if you're in the province you'll even hear karaoke at 5 a.m i'm not joking 40 if you don't look filipino be ready to get stared at a lot maybe even get pictures taken of you especially in areas where most tourists don't visit also if you see anyone laughing giggling or staring at you don't take it personally they're just excited to see a foreigner or to be honest they probably find you handsome they are not meaning to be rude in any way 41 filipinos love being on camera don't be afraid to point cameras at them. In fact, they may just ask you to take pictures and video of them just from seeing your camera. And there you go. That's all the best tips, tricks, and advice I could come up with. I really hope it helps. Let me know what I missed down below. And if you're planning your own trip, let us know when you're going. I know you're going to have a great time. Just relax and enjoy it. If you miss anything, which you will, you can always come back, which you should. Be sure to click on the links on the screen to check out some of the other videos I have that can help you. We do a lot of guides on this channel, so be sure to check them out, and I'll see you over there.